I am a star, but never do my funeral when I pass away. Just let me go quietly, reveals Hollywood star Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy has revealed why he does not want a funeral and hopes his loved ones will allow him to just go out quietly when he dies. This is three year old who has 10 children by five women made the remarks while promoting his new film, Beverly Hills Cop. At first, he quipped that Beverly Hills Cop team from the original 1984 movie should be played at his memorial service to raise a smile from the mourners. He burst into laughter at the thought of the music music blaring out at his funeral. Hmm, interesting. While the attendees looked at each other in confusion. That is just a joke, cause I am never having a funeral, he told film journalists in an Instagram interview. Hmm. Now, this American favorite and world star said again and I quote, I mean, I'm gonna die like everyone else, but no funeral, no, just let me go out quietly, he added. He continued, let me quote him. They, meaning their beloved ones, including his 10 children, as well as his longtime love, Paige Butcher, who is now 44, an Australian model he has been with since 2012. Eddie had five of his children through his 13 year old marriage to Nicole Murphy, Briar, 34, Mice, 31, Shane, 29, Zola, 24, and Bella, who is now 21 years old. Between meeting and marrying Nicole, Eddie also welcomed a now 34 year old son called Kristen with a woman named Tamara Hood. His eldest child is a son called Eric, who is now 34 years old. Hmm. That means he has elder children, whom he had by Paulette McNeely, a woman he was romantically involved with in 1989. That was long before many of us were born. <laughs> I was born before then anyway. Now, let me continue. And the Murphy family also includes his 17-year-old daughter, Angel, whom he shares with his one-time flink Mel B of the Spice Girls fame. Hmm. Remember the Spice Girls of the olden days? Only elders will understand. Although Eddie Murphy initially cast doubt on the claim he was Angel's father, he eventually took a DNA test, proving his paternity when the little girl was just two months old. Hmm. He didn't know this when he was playing the balls around. <laughs> Man. Alright? Now let me continue. By the time he took the test, he was already dating Babyface ex wife. Not the Babyface of Nigeria. <laughs> Now, the baby's ex-wife, whose name is Tracy Edmonds, she eventually married Eddie on New Year's Day in 2008 and left him two weeks later. Funny, funny. The actor who has 10 children by five women made the funeral remarks while promoting his new film, Beverly Hills Cop. Now, there's this interesting thing about Eddie Murphy. He and Paige, who have been engaged for more than half a decade now, also have two children together, Lizzie, eight, Max, and five. Just last month, Eddie Murphy posted with Briar, Shane, and Bella at the star studded premiere of Beverly Hills Cop, Alex F., the fourth film in the franchise. Now, people also spotted Eddie Murphy's first son, Eric, at the premiere of the movie. For those of you who know little about Eddie Murphy, let me tell you this Eddie Murphy broke into the movies with the original Beverly Hills Cop in 1984 after becoming a household name on Saturday Night Live. In the first movie, Eddie Murphy's character, Axel Foley, is a Detroit detective who takes time off to travel to Beverly Hills and investigate his childhood pal, Mickey's mother. Now in the new movie, the plotline involves a conspiracy that endangers the safety of Axel's daughter. Plays by Zola star Taylor Page, Axel finds himself traveling back to Beverly Hills from Detroit and reuniting in the process with some familiar faces from the first movie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I draw the curtain for today once again. In as much as you love what I've just presented, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Stay cool and goodbye for now.